How you doing, everybody? Welcome to the end of the world. I mean, the finale of Mass Effect. Last time, we managed to go across the Mew Relay and found Ilos and found out more about the Protheans and the Citadel and the Reapers than pretty much the rest of the game was able to tell us combined. I can't really fault them for it, though, because it was sort of the payoff. You know, you play through the whole game and you're like, what the hell's going on? Why is this happening? And then they finally tell you. So I can't really fault them for it. And this time, we need to find Saren so that we can put that information to use and uh, stop him from destroying the universe as we know it. Well, the galaxy as we know it. I don't know about the universe. But the galaxy as we know it for sure. We have to start our search in the Citadel Tower because every other direction here is blocked off by Dragon's Teeth and crashed Mako vehicles and that sort of stuff. And Garrus is already stuck and we're five seconds into the playthrough. Or into the recording session. Great! This is gonna be awesome. Let's let's uh, head up to the Citadel Tower and see if he's up there. Kind of surprised he didn't like deactivate the elevators or something. I mean, I guess that's not really working how it's supposed to, but you'd think he would just bot like, you know, prevent anybody from coming up after him if he's up here. Of course, he he's having a little bit of problems loading up his texture first. So. Oh, there it goes. They're sealing the station! Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms! Well, that's not good. And neither is that. Saren's locked the elevator. Suit up. We're going outside. So how are we going outside? Are we gonna like... Oh, okay. Well, that'll work. I guess the gravity is turned off. Or it's in reverse. Maybe they, maybe they shift the gravity like 90 degrees at this point. This is where the elevator kind of shifts its gravity. You know what I mean? so that it, it's, convert, it's like parallel with the Citadel Tower. And that's what I would assume anyway. We could also be wearing gravity boots, but well, I don't know. Point is we need to get up there because Sovereign is being a big old dick and I need to take care of it because yeah, he, can't, he can't get away with this. We're not going to allow that. Of course, he's probably got an army of Geth waiting for us along this little road. Oh wait, that's the back of the way. This is the maintenance shaft, and it is a very, very long trip, so hopefully, I mean, we're probably going to run into resistance, I don't doubt that, but hopefully it won't be too difficult to deal with said resistance. Speaking of which, here they are now. Um, let's, no, let's overload and overkill. Mm, nah, just, just damn. Rex, I'll save you for a minute. For that guy. I see a Krogan beyond him. I just don't know if the Krogan's gonna actually. Hello! That rocket was a little bit. Uh... I felt that one. I felt that one in my skin. Uh... Oh, he's dead. Nice job, you two. What else is here? I'm definitely getting shot at. I just don't know by what. Probably that guy. There we go. And we got another rocket tripper. Alright, fine. Have one of these. <laughs> Sucks, bro. Alright. That takes care of that. I'm guessing there's probably more up here. I thought there was a Krogan at some point on this in this hallway, but he might be coming up in a minute. 
Shock Trooper, and he's already dead because, well, Garrus and Rex have assault rifles, so they can just tear through him with their HMWs. They're crazy, man. But that's why I brought them, although they did switch my party order somehow here in the save file, so I hope that doesn't screw anything up. We might be getting some role reversal, if you know what I mean, at the end of this mission, if it does, in fact, screw up the order, but uh, I'm not worried about it. Get out of here. <laughs> Just knock him straight in the air. That's ridiculous, man. Uh, lift that guy. Take him. Uh, actually, I'm going to neural shock him because it looks like he's going to come down before we... Uh... I don't want him reviving. That's the point. There's that. All right, now what? Oh, hello, Get Destroyer. Um, let us overload and sabotage and now throw. I love the fact that there's, like, no gravity directly off this platform, so when you throw enemies, they just go like, go flying <laughs> through the air. It's ridiculous, man. Oh, God! Man, they've got this place well fortified. Um, I don't want to do this. Let me sabotage you. And you're well fortified, so let's try doing this. There we go. Those assault rifles, man, they just tear through the shields like nobody's business. Hello there. Got a rocket. Good shield. Shield's not doing much good though. Ow. It's going too soon. Um. What's up here? Get the sniper. All right, fine. He's out. Uh, here he comes. Throw him through the air. He's gone. And it's a home run. Um. Where do I go? This isn't good. Mercenary 9. If Ashley was here, she'd probably appreciate that. Oh, I guess we already got all the way down the hallway. Uh, Garrus is there. We're here. There's a little spot that I can go in right down there. Okay, so that's over here. Ah, okay. Let's see this before. What is that noise? He's tearing something off of the Citadel Tower. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. His, his little squid arm is tearing pieces off the tower, which is not good. Uh, shock trooper, shock trooper. Alrighty. Let's do an overload and sabotage, and then we'll go from there. I want none of your rockets! What you have for sale is not something that I want. I'd like to try that again. Cover real quick. Destroyer and um, run up. And get in cover here. Uh, keep it busy, boys! <laughs> These grenades are coming in pretty handy, you know, so. especially when that happens. Um, got destroyer. Your sabotage isn't quite back yet. Let's warp and uh, overload. Oh god! That is unexpected. What is that noise? Oh, a Geth dropship. Where, where is the Geth dropship? That's not a Geth dropship, it's probably over here. Oh, no, that's a destroyer, and he's shooting rockets at me from point blank range. Hold on. Hold the phone here! We need to do something about this. It's probably right here, isn't it? Uh, Citadel defense turret, that sounds like a plan. Let's do that. Yeah, open that up. Whoa! My ass kicked here, hold on. <laughs> what do we got? Oh god! I saw that a little too late. Um, pop a barrier, get my shields back. I'm gonna try to get around to that other defense turret. Keep them busy! Hold your positions! Uh, okay, I can bypass this. Let's try manually doing it first. Ah, shit, I failed on that last one because I didn't hit it in time. That should help us out a lot. Uh, we got one, two, and I'm out in the open. Great. Let's, let's just be out in the open for one of them. That would probably help a lot. Uh, I can throw him from here, but, uh... Yeah, he's almost dead. So fine. Yeah, that shield boost isn't gonna help you, buddy. Not at all. I can't believe they're making me bypass these turrets, man. That's ridiculous. Oh! Hello. Shock Trooper right here. Not top of me. Get out of here. Okay, something is... They were just killing, but there's something. Uh... There's definitely something. The commentary here is just a little bit terrible right now. I apologize. Ow. 
Oh, that didn't even have any hits. Um, sabotage you. And I'm probably gonna have warps. Take care of the Geth dropship in a second. Yeah, there it goes. I don't know why I'm back to get out of cover here. It doesn't make much sense, but whatever. Is that. You need to go away. That. that should take care of that. You. I need you to get, uh... Why don't you damp him, Garrus, and Rex? Rex, just just do what you've been doing. No, just warp him. It's fine. No, you guys are busy. Positions on. All right, fine. I'll do it myself. Eh. Nice shoot, guys. Um. All right. Now I don't want to do this. My shields are coming back. All right. My health is coming back. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. Normally I'd be like, oh, I should probably heal here, but no, no, it's all right. There's the Krogan that I was thinking of. Um, there's two of them? Okay, there's definitely two of them. I want to do this. How about we sabotage your thingy? I like how the screen's just kind of shaking like crazy. And your warp isn't back yet. That's unfortunate. Overload, even though it's not going to overload a shield. It's, it's fine. Okay, I guess it's going to go in the unity here in a second, though, and I'm not going not gonna to enjoy that very much. Sit down, sir, in the back. This guy in the front here has immunity. So, gonna need warp in just a second, but first, this. Get the destroyer your hello, too close, bad touch. Yeah. Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> that works. Um, okay, you guys stay where you are, alter positions, and I will do stuff to this guy, and. Um, yeah, once he's warped, I don't think we'll really need to lift him. gonna work, is it? I'm gonna shoot him in the kneecaps. Um, you need an overload and a damp so you can't use immunity. Rex, just overkill things. That'll work for me. There's another destroyer charging me. I don't like that, so let's throw you through the air and then the Krogan Warrior alone. He ain't making it either. I mean, I could have lived at this point with this Geth Destroyer. That's a Geth Prime, isn't it? Definitely a Geth Prime shooting a million rockets at me if it wasn't a Geth Prime. Uh... Is he dead? He's dead. Nice shooting, guys. Garrus, why don't you get your sniper rifle out? Probably help with the Geth that are kind of charging at us like this. See what I mean? <laughs> I don't want to go anywhere until they stop coming, though. That'd probably be a bad idea. It looks like they're gone. I think. Yeah, they wouldn't be with me. Unless they were, never mind. I'm totally incorrect about that. Uh, I should just throw him. Ow. It's fine, I got barriers, I'm good. <laughs> There's probably going to be a few more of them that come up here. That's definitely Sovereign's leg. I'm glad we don't have to outrun that. Because uh, outrunning that would be a little bit of a problem. Why don't you assassinate that guy there, Garrus? And uh, Rex, you... You warp him. I will overload him, and we'll just we'll just go from there. Oh god! Nice. Well done. Very well done, you two. With me. Um. Let's see, guess trooper down in the bunker there. I mean, I can, oh, I can shoot him from there. I didn't realize. I thought that was like a little barrier thing. We're getting pretty close here. Uh. I accidentally activate the so let's just use it. There we go. You know what they say, use it or lose it. Alright. Um, I don't want to do this, because there's heavy turrets that are out there that are totally going to do that to me. I don't like at all. Hello? Almost skimmed my head there, Jesus. Um, why don't you sabotage it, Garrus, and then we'll go from there. I wanted to bring Garrus along primarily for these guys, because his sniper rifle is going to be really helpful for those, uh, for those turrets. He can, I mean, he can hit them from really far away like this, so it's, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Uh, I don't need to move up for this guy, aren't I? And I don't like that because there's totally rockets that are blasting me in the back of the head here, and Garrus is dead. Great. Uh, I'm going to barrier real quick. Rex, you you have a barrier. You're fine for now. I'm going to barrier real quick and see if I can run up on these guys a little bit. Uh, hello. Let's just get the cover here. 
I get in cover, I mean, sort of in cover. See if I can lift them. I can lift one of them. It's gone. Uh, you die. You and me, Rex. Don't die on me. I'm gonna have to get Garrus back in here in a second, because these heavy turrets are not going anywhere until he's gone, or until he's back. Yeah. That guy. There's one more over there. I just don't know if I can. Oh, yeah, it's just, you know, great. I'll get you guys back up in a second. I just need to. I appear to be. I appear to have found a hole. And I think this is where I need to go. Yeah, this is definitely where I need to go. Alright. Um, can I get up here? No, I can't. Alright, fine. Kinda wish I had mobile accuracy now, but it's okay. It is alright. It is not alright. I just died. Straight up rocket to the face. That's not good. I think I'll have to come back to this point because if I resume, it's not going to checkpoint me anywhere close to here, so I'll be right back. Should have known not to be that reckless in, uh, when I hadn't saved in that long of a time. Remember that hole that I was talking about where it's probably I need, where I need to go? I'm back down there now and I was able to save my file down here. Um, there's nothing much else to do up here other than kill those turrets and I don't really need to do that, I don't think. Emergency access to the council chambers, alright. So if we go down this way, we should be able to get access to it, but we can also come up behind the turrets and we can kill them from there. Because right now, a, a full frontal assault of the turrets right now, like, I mean, I can show you. I'm not going to die here because I'm going to be careful, but, like, if I go up here, I don't have a sniper rifle. So the only way I can kill them is if I, like, take the shots at them here. And as you can see, they can still shoot at me, so, like, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to go this way, we'll go around, and then we'll, we'll kill them from there if we have to. But yeah, had to do something stupid and embarrassing before the end of the playthrough, otherwise this wouldn't be a, you know, a playthrough. It would just be me cruising my way through Mass Effect 1 like I don't even care. Like some sort of expert, but I ain't no expert. I don't know who told you that. Uh, sabotage overload mines right there. That Krogan warrior that happens to be popping his head out now. So, and then let's Thermal Shock and warp him. He's not a warlord, so... Oh. Alright, let's look at this guy. That, and you got caught in it too, so that's good. That is probably... Looks like a Krogan Warlord, I guess, yeah. That's what I thought. Um, why don't we damp him? And I left his back, that's not good. So, time. I have a rocket launcher, so I'm not really too concerned. Approaching very, very slowly. So, oh. Crap. Uh... Well, his immunity's gone, at least now, and I have Neural Shock back, so that's good. Take him out! Um, yeah, he's almost dead. I didn't have anything to take him out with because, well, I used all of my lifts and throws and all that shit before. Why don't we... No, let's Neural Shock... Oh, Jesus Christ, a Battle Master. I've never seen him before. Uh, why don't you Neural Shock him there? Well, why don't we Neural Shock him and then you warp this guy, Rex? Uh, use a lift, apparently, because it's my uh, my other things aren't working. This Battlemaster is back on his feet. I'll take care of him in a second. And the Warlord's dead. There we go. Well, too many rockets in this mission, man. I don't like it. Um, why don't you two just overkill? And I will throw him. Sounds like a plan. Okay, that makes it a little tougher to hit. He's dead. That's all that matters. So yeah, throw and lift are both helpful here. But, uh, just because you can toss them through the zero-g environment, like ragdolls and stuff. I should probably save here, shouldn't I? Eh, probably. I won't have to do the freaking turrets again. How close are we? Almost there. We might be home free now, to be honest with you, but I'm gonna save just in case. Still don't know why they switched Rex and Garrus in the, the party order there. It's kind of stupid, because I really kind of wanted them to not switch them, so that we could just, like... Because the, the way that they were before, where Garrus was in the second slot and Rex was in the third slot, we wouldn't have had to deal with any role reversal coming up here, and if you've played this game before, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but, uh... Yeah, it's not entirely... It's, just, just pretend like, if, if it ends up being the role reversal that I was talking about, just pretend what Garrus is saying is what Rex is saying, what Rex is saying is what Garrus is saying. Can they shoot at me from here? They can. But I have a much, okay, more fortifiable position here, thankfully. You guys... I wish I could get to 
this guy without having to poke my head out real badly like this. Yeah, there goes the turret. Well, the turret's dead, so that's good. One of the turrets is dead. She gets triggered there, and... <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I'll get Garrus up in just a second after I take care of this turret. Just popping it like that is not going to help at all. Why don't we overload and warp? I move because that rocket's totally gone. For comfort. Just really sabotage him too. Yeah. Ow. Alright, alright. Well, he's almost dead. Hello? Can I shoot, please? He's gonna be stuck. Yeah, it keeps getting stuck. I want these turrets gone, man. I don't like them. There. Takes care of that. Now it's just this Gath Trooper. And he, well. I hope there's a third turret. I'm gonna feel really stupid. Okay, there is not a third turret. We're good. We're good. Garrus, you alright? It was a little rough there, man. Just uh, hold it together. We'll, we'll be in good shape here in just a second. You could use a... Uh, I think I got a medical exoskeleton 9, so let's actually give that to him for a second so he can get his uh, full... Oh, can I exoskeleton 10? It's not even bad. I'm in a medical exoskeleton. That's what I meant. Hang on a second. <coughs> Excuse me. Jesus. Don't know where that came from. Apparently it's still there. It's still sniffling and stuff. Oh well. We're home free now, which is good. So before we head inside, I'm going to take that medical exoskeleton off of Garrus. And I'm going to blow my nose and probably save it, and then we'll be right back, as much as you don't need to see the mental image of me blowing my nose. But I'll be right back anyway. Thinking about it now, if those turrets were the Citadel's turrets... I probably shouldn't have taken them out because I'd probably just cost them like millions and millions of credits because they're gonna have to replace them. Of course, they, if they were Geth heavy turrets, whatever, but I didn't really get a clear look at them. Hopefully they weren't the Citadel defense turrets because they might chew me out for that after this, unfortunately. But, regardless of all of that, we are here and Jesus, this place is not looking as good as it did before. We'll say that much. The Geth are probably well fortified, so we want to be pretty careful here. Thankfully, I did just save right outside, so I don't really need to bother saving just yet. Although there are quite a few of uh, those guys there. Let's take them out. Yeah. We'll get a little closer. Why the hell not? I thought that was a rocket there, but it's just a little bit of debris falling. I'm sorry. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> I'm walking into ambushes like this. You know, let's back off real quick. They got, uh, they're, they're well fortified, I will give them that. These guys are just, well, these guys are just being dicks, so. Why am I getting shot from behind? There's nobody behind me. Kid. Uh, you, yeah, I don't think I can take advantage of the anti-grab anymore, which is unfortunate, but, uh, you do what you gotta do. So, another trooper, alright. And it looks like a dis couple of destroyers. I'm gonna use this real quick. What is it? Shock Trooper. Alright. Shock Troopers. They're, they're not a problem. These Geth Troopers are kind of being dicks, though, and hiding. There's another Shock Trooper. I see him. I don't know why I keep pressing L2 for barrier. Probably because I'm already used to Mass Effect 2, even though I haven't played it yet. Because <laughs> in Mass Effect 2, you can map three powers rather than one. Shortcut button on your controller. So I'll be doing that, because it's really, really useful. But I think we're done. I'm pretty sure we're done. Let's look. Yeah, we're done. All right, well, this is it, folks. Saren is up there, although we wouldn't really know that yet, because we didn't see him directly go up there. But just take my word for it. He's up there. So we're going to want to uh, be prepared before we head inside to take care of him.